In this question, we have an ionic compound made up of nitrogen and potassium. And our goal is to figure out the name of the ionic compound. So when we're naming ionic compounds, there are two things to bear in mind. The first is the order. So when we're choosing the name, it's always the metal first, and then it's the non-metal. So that's the first thing we need to bear in mind. The second thing is the ending. The metal name stays exactly as it is in the periodic table. The non-metal name, we change the ending to ide. And that's true for all of our simple ionic compounds. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got nitrogen and potassium. We want to figure out which of these is the metal. If you don't already know, you can head to your periodic table and you can find them in our periodic table. So we've got nitrogen over here and potassium is over here. So nitrogen, that's gonna be our non-metal because it's in that top right corner and potassium, that's gonna be our metal since it's on the left corner. So potassium is the metal, nitrogen is the non-metal. So since we have the metal name first, we know that potassium is gonna be the start of our compound name. Then we have our non-metal, which was nitrogen. But when we're making our ionic compound, we change the name of the non-metal by changing the ending to ide. So for nitrogen, we get rid of this part, the agen, and it just becomes nitride, like that. And that's it, simple. So let's check that off. Potassium nitride. So two steps. Step one is figuring out what's your metal and what's your non-metal. Getting them in the right order because we go metal and then non-metal. And finally, changing the ending to ide for the non-metal only. The metal name stays the same.